Okay, let's talk about Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon is something that was originally introduced in one of your favorite games, Toby. You said it was your top five Pokemon yeah. game uh, Colosseum. That honestly, I should have said it at the top of the show. That's honestly kind of a shock to me because that game is nostalgic for me. I remember playing that uh, game a lot when I was homesick, but playing it as an adult, it's not that fun. Um, so maybe we can I've talk. Never played it. I'd like to get your take on Colosseum. And then I we can get disagree that it's not that fun. I, I think double battles. I'm amazed that genuinely amazed that double battles are not the standard throughout the franchise. Like I think Me too. they are far mm. more fun and interesting. I think that the dynamics at play are wild. It really challenges you to think. Um, I remember the first battle that you do against uh, the guy um, with the Entei in that game, and he's got like he's got golem and he's got matang and he's got pokemon with levitate and pokemon that are flying and earthquake and it's it's all relatively simple stuff like protect earthquake levitate flying whatever but just watching your opponent do that in the game as a kid really teaches you to consider like should i be protecting should i switch into a flying pokemon how do i navigate this and there are plenty of other examples of that throughout the game um but shadow pokemon I'm really happy to see they've showed a continued interest in it. Shadow Pokemon yeah, have actually yeah. never disappeared. Mm -hmm. They have, and I talked about this in a super video last year where I was just like go going in everything Shadow. But you have Dark Pokemon in the TCG. You got Sh Shadow Mewtwo and Pokemon. There's the Celebi and the Shadow Balls, the Dark Balls in the fourth movie. There's uh, the Argas that's used in Detective Pikachu that's derived from yeah. Mewtwo. There's the Berserk gene that's in Gen 2 that they get again from Mewtwo. Uh, in fact, the theory is, the backstory is, is that even in the Colosseum and Gale of Darkness games, Team Rocket is really sort of pulling the strings and that uh, creating Mewtwo right. is a mechanism to take its genes and to produce something that can cause pokemon to lose access to their heart but become stronger we see that in the anime with professor namba has his rage crowns which like do that exact same thing they like confuse the pokemon uh shut off the door to the heart but make them somehow stronger we get it in the, the 20th anniversary movie with ho and the shadow rainbow wing that turns all the local pokemon like really ragey and angsty um pokemon go has team rocket with shadow pokemon um, it just does like, and they just keep on bringing them back year after year. So I, I fully think that Shadow Pokemon are going to continue, even even now with the Black Terra Raidens, where the yeah. Pokemon are like somehow stronger. They're elevated past the level of like it's not just that they're level 100; it's that they're they're, they're stronger. They're the mightiest version. Mm. That's and a like, really good point. Is is there something about those raid stones making them shadowy or making them corrupted? Wow. Uh, right. The lore's deep on the on Shadow Pokemon, and they are like my one of my favorite things in the whole franchise to talk about. I need like. to play Colosseum then. I've never played Colosseum. It's re I think it's great fun, but maybe I'm just nostalgia blind to it, which is totally fair. What do you guys make of kind of Shadow Pokemon? And uh, oh, do do we like them? Do we want them back? Do we want them to see more? Or I really wish that they would do more with them, like Shadow Lugia. That's what I need. I need mm -hmm. like something mm -hmm. a little bit more different about them than just like mm. red eyes or you know because then we're in alpha land even with that um yeah that's that's my feeling on him i mean it goes back to the same thing as like the pink pokemon they're like just pink pokemon i, need I like the more. moral debate that they pose in the pokemon world like you know it's they make them stronger but at what cost i like that and i think that would be a really cool like uh you know mainline game to kind of focus mm. around that I, I would love that well i can say it's, it's kind of like mega evolution mm -hmm. is like a a similar thing to that um yeah. in the mm -hmm. like the pokedex entries talk it's about painful. how much it anguish it causes the pokemon but it, we, it's, we never meet a faction in pokemon that are like you should not mega evolve your pokemon because it causes them pain and that kind of thing like it's still very much encouraged that you mega evolve your pokemon which is really interesting um i see shadow pokemon uh there's like an alternative version which is light pokemon which we again see in the tcg um and all of them have abilities that uh, they they get benefits from being around other pokemon and like they they boost basically the power of friendship and so this translates into the games with the um 
like the friendship mechanics that allow you to survive critical hits and uh, to to do things that your Pokemon wouldn't normally be able to do, to dig deep and find an inner strength of friendship. Um, and I guess the ultimate version of this would be like the Ash Greninja, which we've obviously only seen. Mm -hmm. if, if Shadow Pokemon, we've only seen like two pure Shadow Pokemon in Lugia and Mewtwo, then we've only seen one pure like right. hero Pokemon or light Pokemon. That's cool. And so I guess it's like a really rare phenomenon to find the deep power. But in, in theory, I guess any Pokemon could, could be I either. And I suppose Shadow Pokemon are easier to cultivate from the point of view of a business group like Team Rocket than, say, light Pokemon are, because that requires work and friendship and going on long journeys, right. and they don't have time for that. They've got to make money, so here's a Rage <laughs> Crown, yeah. I guess is the thinking. Yeah. I don't know. I really like that, that uh, yeah. crossover. They Honestly, Shadow Pokemon Megas, they do line up. Like, if they were to ever bring Shadow into the game uh, back into the main series, maybe that's when they would also bring back Megas, and they kind of, like, reinterpret what you know, what you're saying, like what Megas actually are. I, I saw someone on uh, the comment section of my Mega video, like said, maybe there is no Mega timeline or non-Mega timeline, and just some regions ban Mega Evolution use because mm. they think it's cruel. And I, I, I like that idea. I think that's kind of neat. It's interesting because there are like Shadow Megas, which appear, I mean, in Pokemon, right. but also they appear in the Magina movie. The Volcanium movie, The right? Volcanium yeah, movie, that's right, sorry, yeah. There was also, they like to do Shadow Pokemon like in general in the movies. You have the Shadow Mega Evolutions, mm. you have uh, the, um, you mentioned the, the Shadow Rainbow Wing from Yeah, Pokemon. yeah. And then, uh, what, didn't, wasn't there something along the lines of that in the Hoopa movie? Wasn't like when Hoopa was on Bound, he's basically like a Shadow Pokemon? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I in, mean, yeah, in, in, the seen that one. in the Pokemon universe, what is like? What is our understanding of like auras, right? A shadow could shadow Pokemon really be like a, a an evil aura? Right? I think I it is. It's a corrupted. It's a corruption of their aura. Is like okay. the. I, I think that's right.